What's crazy is like, because it's all public, we can see this happening. Like they're, they're doing this to be kind of under the cover of darkness. But if we just look at historical AIS records, we can see those disappearances happening. December 2012, this is a Spanish fishing vessel that's approaching Western Africa boom, it disappears. July 2015, there's an Australian fishing ship doing the same thing around a marine reserve, disappears. October 2014, there is this Panamanian fishing vessel that approaches the Galapagos, and then boom, disappears. And these and are the people we're after. Like right. This is what we want to understand, is what do they do when they press that button and go dark? Right. The fact that you can see their last location, Mm -hmm. And then where they pick up again is a context clue. It's a clue, for sure. And, and there's so much data available. Like, this is what I want to start to go down the rabbit hole on, is like aggregating all this data, looking for the trends, and trying to understand what we can learn about what happens when these ships go dark. So we're talking a lot about shadowy activity happening in the dead of night. 